I feel really strange. You know, I have braces, you can tell. And I wasn't going to do Only by a whistle. No, I wasn't going to do <laughs> any television, and it feels really weird to be kind of... Well, if you've got braces, surely that's the mark of the middle-class American child, the braces on the teeth. Yeah, except we had no money for braces when I was You're little. You're having them now. Well, the reason I'm having them now is because... Two reasons. I mean, I could cop out and say it's for because I want to keep my teeth, but it really isn't. My dentist wants me to keep my teeth, and I really would like to have straight ones. <laughs> so. Yeah. How long will you have to wear the brace? Well, they come off the day of the Academy Awards, straight or not. I'm not going to go there with braces. So, you think the Academy Awards are more important than this show? Right? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you have had, you have had um, things done to you anyway, haven't you? You freely admit you've had plastic surgery on various yes, parts of your body. No, not on various. I've, you know, that's kind of specific the drag about... Specific no, no. parts of your body. That's the kind of... It's a pain in the ass. To admit <laughs> to one thing you've and got then a have... <laughs> you've got a butterfly in your yeah. ass. Anyway. <laughs> that was a pain. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, I, you admit to one thing, and then everyone has you doing everything. Yes, so well. I did. I mean, I've had one thing done, and and I would have. Uh, this is not to say that I wouldn't. If I needed to have something done, I would certainly be the first one in the line to the doctor. You know. Really, but what's going to happen when all the people who've had these kind of things done when they get old? It's it's all going to. Time. Well, I'll tell you something. My mother is, uh, how old is my mother? My mother be is... Be careful now. She 50, could be watching. No, I, my mother is uh, 56, I think. And she just had her face lifted. And my girlfriend, Ange, saw her and she, she couldn't believe my mother is so beautiful now. Not that she wasn't really beautiful before, but you know, I, I think it's worse in America. But Women get older and men get... Older. Dignified or character. Yes. But, but it's hard to be older in this business. I can see it's, it is hard to be older. Shouldn't we all accept the fact that we, we are going to get older? What's well, the point of having a 25-year-old face on a 56-year-old body? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I have a lot easier time keeping my body in shape than... than I can't imagine that... I, I mean, I guess I'm going to have an old body one of these days, but I can't imagine it. Well, I think of myself as like... A jogging 75-year-old, you know? So I hope I'm going to be able to Will you going. accept the gradual disintegration? Will you be able to accept getting older? I know we're getting older, well, but I, I mean really getting no, older, older. I can accept... I mean, like, even what you said is really weird because you said, can I accept the gradual disintegration of my body? I mean, I kind of see an old truck, you know, getting <laughs> rusty and, you know, going to hell. I don't think I can accept that. I could accept getting older, but I'm, I don't plan to disintegrate. Mm. We all we all will in the end, though. Well, I mean, in the, you know, when I'm in the box, who cares? <laughs> has the break in acting, do you think, come a bit late for you? Yes, I think it has. But you know, better better now than than never. Mm. So I mean, I, I would have liked to have been able to do it earlier, but that's not what was in the cards for me. So you have to be realistic. How will you sustain? the glamorous, popular image, along with the kind of part that you have got in Silkwood? Well, I don't know why it'll be hard to do that. Well, I don't see it as being difficult. If you're going to be taken seriously as an actress, yeah. can the public be expected to take you seriously as an actress if you come out in stunning, diamante studded gowns slashed to the hip in Las Vegas? Won't they find it a little difficult to take you seriously in serious parts? Well, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that I want to become a brain surgeon now. I only want to be an actress. So, <laughs> so I think that that's, you know, it was people won't buy you for no reason. If you can put out good work, then, then they'll respect your work. I'm not really asking anybody to love me or to think that I'm, you know, have an IQ of a genius. I'm just saying, if you like the work that I do, that's great. I'm certainly not going to change who I am so that people will like my work. My work should stand on its own. So if I want to go and show my navel or whatever else I want to show, then that's... You go and show it. Okay. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Can you... I tell them that you told me to do that? Yeah. Okay. It'll be all right. All right. If you do that at the Oscars, take the braces off and show them your navel. Okay. I'll bet you'll win. I hope so. Sure, we wish you well. Thank you. Thank you.